Hello and welcome to English Digest. I'm Sam and I'm Angeline. And this month's writing exercise is my favorite picture writing. <laughs> I find it interesting that we can all look at the same pictures but interpret different things from mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So Sam and I will likely come up with different stories based on these pictures. Hmm. At a quick glance, it looks like a man is visiting his friend in Taiwan. Mm-hmm. Sam, have you ever had a foreign friend visit you in Taiwan? Um, I've traveled to visit some of them, mm. but none of them has come to Taiwan. Want to visit me yet? Oh, yeah, why maybe. do you think that's the case? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They they've never come to Asia. I guess okay. It's probably hard for them to get here, but it's also hard for me to get there. I mean, I, I went to Poland. I went oh, to wow. Lithuania. <laughs> <laughs> But they haven't made the effort to come visit you. No, yeah. But okay. in the future, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're listening and you're one of Sam's foreign friends, you should come to Taiwan to visit. Yes, please. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I've had a few people visit from Taiwan. I've had yeah. um, people from Vancouver and people from Hong Kong. Yes. The people from Hong Kong, though, actually, they take me around instead of <laughs> me taking them around because yeah. they've been to Taiwan so many times because the ticket is so cheap from Hong yeah, Kong to yeah, Taiwan. Yeah. And so the they flight. probably know Taiwan exactly. better than you. Yeah, they do. And the, the flight gets really short. It's like an hour and 20 yes, minutes. Yes, yes. Yeah, so it did happen. And obviously the places that you bring a friend, you mm-hmm. know, when they're visiting Taiwan is like typical things like night markets, right? Yes. Going yes. to night markets, um, maybe going to Taipei 101 if yes. they're into that kind of thing. What else? Where would you bring your foreign friend? I would probably bring them to the Palace Museum. Okay, yeah, that's a, probably a good idea. Yeah, and also like visit the mountains. Oh, okay, yeah. like um, Alishan or yeah, or somewhere Alishan, closer. Yeah, yeah maybe Yangming is good enough. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alishan is kind of far away for yeah. people in Taipei. Yeah, like that's pretty much what you would do, right? Night markets, shopping. Shopping, maybe. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Eating, really, a lot yeah, of food, eating, right? Yeah, a lot of drinks. Yeah, drinks, tea, bubble tea. Bubble tea. Yeah, you yeah. have to bring your friend to bubble tea. That's usually the request that my friends always yeah. ask for, <laughs> like bubble tea. Bring me to the best bubble tea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at our writing prompt, okay? Because along with a series of pictures, you will also be given a short written prompt to guide your writing, okay? Mm-hmm. So before we begin any writing exercise, we must read the instructions carefully so you know what you have to do. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look at our writing prompt today. 好的,今天的提示呢,就要你要仔细观察右方四幅连环图片的内容,并且写出一篇120字以上的文章。文章呢,需涵盖连环图片的内容,并且有完整的结局。So in this writing exercise, we have to write a 120-word essay based on a series of pictures, okay? So you have to pay close attention to how the pictures relate to one another, because the writing must touch on the content of all four pictures. You will also have to come up with an ending for the story. So the criteria gives the writer a lot of flexibility since there really only is one specific thing you need to keep note of and mm-hmm. that is the word count, yes. okay, 120 words. Take a moment to study the pictures carefully and to jot down any important details you notice. For example, we know this story is set in Taiwan and not Italy because there is a man at the arrival hall of an airport and he's holding up a sign that says, Welcome to Taiwan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In the second picture, we see a moon and mm-hmm. the time that hints to the time the story takes place. Okay. Yes. So probably in the evening. Yeah. Okay, 今天的视频看图写作所以第一步很重要的事情呢不是看图是要先来看我们的提示了没有照提示上就算你写了一整本的旷世巨作呢怎么样还是零分因为我们这个一百二十字以上这个太多也不行字太少也不行那再来呢看
And in the end, he found out the Prince Charming doesn't recycle. So bye. <laughs> <laughs> What、yeah. a tragic love story! Oh my gosh! Oh, you see, you can't make these mistakes. You、yes. have to recycle, otherwise, there goes your entire relationship, potential relationship, right? That is a really good guess. Yeah, I mean, we don't know for sure that they're friends. For all we know, it could actually be a driver that came to pick him up. Yes, yes, yes. And then maybe, yeah, a tour guide. Yeah, yeah. Tour guide. Maybe they're just complete strangers. Yeah. Or maybe it's a business, you know. Ah, yes. And that yes. guy is picking him up, and they went to the night market, obviously, because you know when somebody comes on a business trip, you can't just be doing all business. You have yes, to do yes, some leisure yes, activities.、Yeah. Maybe he needs to make a sale, so he needs to, you know, ah, put him yes, in a good yes, mood, yes. bring him to the night market, and be like, "Here, I can be your friend," but actually, he wants to sell him a deal yes, or yes, something. Yeah. So maybe in the end, the guy was angry. It's not because the guy didn't recycle or because of the garbage. Maybe they had a fight and he <laughs> threw away his bubble tea, so the deal is off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Yeah, that's possible. Okay, so picture writing essays are narrative essays, which means you are telling a story,、mm-hmm. like the stories that we just told just now. <laughs> the focus of a narrative essay is the plot. Okay, so you should tell the story with enough detail to build to a climax.、Mm-hmm. An effective narrative would include vivid descriptions and sensory details to involve the reader and allow the audience to put themselves in the narrator's shoes. So these details will also help you support your statements or your arguments.、Mm-hmm. 好了，看图写作呢，既然是要描述图片里的细节，编一个故事哦，所以呢，它自然是一篇叙述文喽。叙述文里面呢，我们提到人事物呢，最好是有密切的关系哦， mm-hmm. 这样我们才能够有一个故事。那除了编写他们的关系之外呢，记得我们要多描述这个细节。生动的描述细节，以及最后呢，我们要给他一个结论哦。OK， 这个结论呢，跟你这个描述的细节是不是生动呢？这些是让你文章精彩的关键喽。So let's think of what steps we need to take to write this story.、Mm-hmm. Like I mentioned earlier, it would be helpful to take note of all the details in the picture. Okay, so based on the pictures, you can think of a theme and decide how all these pictures will connect to tell the story. The theme will be your thesis statement. So, what point are you trying to make? Why is the story important?、Mm-hmm. 好的，连环写作的第一步呢，当然就是要详细解读每一张图，我们所要传达的意义了。再来呢，你可以设定主旨。OK， 这个主旨呢，我们开头就可以讲出来。比方说呢，他们是这个儿时玩伴啊，是大学好友啊，还是其实同事是来做业务的，都可以了。那再来呢，我们描述图片中的细节，记得呢，你要多用你的想象力喽，用联想的，用推理的。来串联整个情节，使图跟图之间呢是有关系的，是有发展的。OK， 他们之间的过程是通顺的。那最后呢，我们就要记得要一个结论来串联我们所有的情节发展，给它收一个尾楼。Then you'll want to come up with a reasonable conclusion. Okay,、yes. so we can see in the last picture that the man with black hair is throwing his trash into the garbage can, or maybe it's a recycling bin. We can't really tell, but it's probably a garbage can.、Um, his friend has a look of surprise on his face.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so why does the friend have that? Look on his face. Is it because his friend threw away a perfectly good cup of bubble tea? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not likely since the cup is empty.、Mm-hmm. Or is it because the man with the black hair didn't recycle his cup? Possibly,、mm-hmm. right? The conclusion must correlate to the previous three pictures. And also reiterate the thesis statement or the purpose of your narrative. 嗯哼，刚刚讲到这个要有结论嘛，结论呢就必须和我们前面所描述的内容呢要有所呼应，要合乎逻辑哦。不可能呢，前面我们都在讲说哦，这两个大学同学一起逛夜市，最后呢忽然被外星人抓走了。OK， 这个可能就太跳痛了，就没有这个合乎逻辑了。所以注意到我们结论呢<笑>必须是这个通顺一个合理的剧情。Okay, so the article can be separated into two or three paragraphs,、mm-hmm. and as always, shouldn't Include an introduction, body, and a conclusion. Okay. 好的，总结我们刚刚讲的总结以上来看呢，我们文章呢通常可以分成这个两到三段喽。那包含我们刚刚说的，也就是起承转合，你要给他一个开头，一个文章的主体，最后要给他一个结论。Some other helpful tips to keep in mind when writing your essay is to not give details that don't mean anything to your story.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so I mean we can talk about who these people are, their relationship, but we don't really need to go back in time and talk about you know, how they <laughs> met and that kind of thing unless it's important to your story.、Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Keep in mind, we do only have 120 words, so it is <laughs> we do have some limitations in how much we can say. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, it'll make your essay too wordy, and it can confuse readers if you use too much detail that really has no meaning to your story. Also, make sure your writing is clear and to the point. Refrain from using complex words or difficult sentence structures. Hmm. 好的，所以呢，注意到我们刚刚鼓励呢，大家多多描述细节哦。但是假如说是跟你的故事没有关系的，哎，那就多了，变得啰嗦了。比方说呢，我们要介绍这两个人是大学同学，但是呢，你可以不用介绍到，比方说哦，他的妈妈是哪里人呢、啊？<笑>他的这个姐姐在哪里工作？哎，就太多了，跟我们的故事没有太多关系，没有太多关联的，我们就不用。特别挑出来讲，所以注意到呢，你挑选要讲什么内容，挑选要讲什么细节很重要。那再来呢，你的这个文法跟你选用单字、片语哦，尽量挑呢你有把握的东西来写，确保呢我们文章是正确通顺的。太艰深的、没把握的，哎，不用在这种时候挑战了。有时候呢，你用一些很简单的字，其实呢就可以表达出很棒的意思了。嗯哼 ，So it's important to keep the audience in mind. Okay, so some things that are clear to you can be ambiguous to your readers. Are you missing? Some important details in your story that、mm-hmm. might make it difficult for your audience to follow. Remember to describe the events in chronological order. Okay, so don't jump from one event to another and then back again. This will cause unnecessary confusion. 嗯哼，讲故事的时候呢，事情发现顺序很重要啊。在这边呢，我们很简单，一百二十字的文章，你不用太刻意去营造这个悬疑的气氛。其实呢，我们就是顺顺的、简单的把故事讲完，确保呢，读者都可以看懂是最重要的。The narratives are usually told in the past tense, so ensure your tenses are consistent throughout the story. Okay,、mm-hmm. you can write the story in first person or in third person. And one more tip, okay, it might be helpful to name your characters, just like Sam did earlier、yes. <laughs> in his example, so you don't have to keep saying. The man in black hair and the man in blonde hair. <laughs> It'll save you a lot of hassle, and you can save the word count for more important details in your story. Yes, yes. 好，最后呢，提醒大家了，我们故事形态的文章呢，既然是讲故事，它就是能发生在过去，所以原则上呢，我们时态就是以过去式系列的为主了。那再来呢，图片里面的人，记得、哦、可以来把他们命名，比方说呢，黑头发的人把他叫志豪，这个金头发叫 Mark 等等，你可以帮他命名哦，你才不会讲说哦，这个。黑头发人，或是 he， 或是 she， 或是怎么样，大家都不知道你在讲谁了。讲述这个文章呢，我们可以使用这个第一人称或是第三人称都没有关系哦。然后呢，你要讲说他是你的亲戚也没有关系，但记得呢，让读者看懂最重要。嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，Okay, so now let's focus on the structure and the outline. Okay, it's not easy to write a good story from the beginning to the end without some sort of planning.、Mm-hmm. Your thoughts will likely be all over the place, and you might miss details that are key to your story. That is why you should create an An outline. Okay, it can help us organize the paragraphs into an order that makes sense, and it also ensures each paragraph is fully developed. 嗯哼，好的，在开始写作之前呢，建议大家都要干嘛呢？要先拟定大纲。刚刚 Julie 呢讲的很好，假如说没有大纲呢，你就会怎么样 ？All over the place， 你有很多很好的主意，但是到处乱跑，到处发散呢。所以呢，在这边呢，我们可以先把你在图片里面看到的细节，看到你觉得重要的点呢，先记录下来，再把这些点呢连成线，串成故事呢，也就是我们的大纲了。有了大纲呢，其实后面的写作就很快了。你只要呢，先用这些连接。些词啊，转折语，加入更多细节，你的文章就完成了。所以记得了，先拟定大纲呢，是比较有效率的一个写作方式哦。Okay, so let's take a look at the sample outline in the magazine. Okay,、mm-hmm. topic sentence one says, "My college friend Josh from the U.S. visited me last week." Okay. He was interested in seeing Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. He wanted to visit a night market. I was thinking about taking him there too. 嗯哼，好的，所以一开头呢，如我们刚刚讲过的了，我们范例文章的作者呢，马上呢就先点出他们两个人的关系，马上呢就让读者就知道说，哎，这张图是发生了什么事情了。接下来在第一段落呢，这个文章主体里面呢，他就讲解了一下，哎 ，Josh 是什么样的背景哦，他一直很想来台湾，所以呢就带到我们第二张图了。想来台湾人呢，大概有做过功课都知道有夜市这种东西，所以呢他很想去，作者呢也就带他去了。那可以想。见呢，第二段落呢，我们应该是要接着讲这个夜市里面发生了什么事情喽。Okay, and then topic sentence two. We had some food in the night market. Okay, and then it says, "I threw away my cup as we walked past a garbage can. The garbage can was full, and trash had spilled out. He couldn't believe how much trash night markets produce. He pointed out how bad single-use plastic was for the environment." Hmm. 
好，所以呢，他们在夜市呢，当然就是要吃饭了。这边呢，作者就比较着重在描述这个夜市里面，也就是我们第四张图发生了什么事情了。那在这边呢，因为是整个故事的爆点，所以他就花了比较多的篇幅来讲。作者呢，就讲到了这个哦，垃圾桶是什么状况，他呢怎么丢垃圾，垃圾桶这个多脏乱，以及呢，这位外国朋友难以相信，这个台湾夜市呢，竟然制造了这么多的垃圾，以及这个 single use plastic， 就是这个一次性使用这个塑胶产品。你比方说塑胶杯啦，或是这个免洗筷啦，这些东西呢，一次性使用餐具，事实上对环境呢是有很大的影响。Okay, and finally the conclusion. I'm going to find out if there are ways to reduce night market trash,、mm -hmm. just in case I think more of his foreign friends come to visit. He doesn't want to feel embarrassed,、yeah. <laughs> so he wants to do something about it. <laughs> 好的，最后呢，我们给他一个结论了。那作者呢就被这个 Josh 当头棒喝之后呢，他就决心呢要来减少夜市的垃圾了。Okay, so once We've written out your outline. We can go back and look at whether we've included everything, so your story makes sense. We can also see where we need to cut information or find places where more information is needed. The outline will make writing your draft much easier. Okay? Then you can polish the draft and refer back to the outline to ensure that writing meets all the requirements. Many people use this method, including famous writers. Uh huh. 大纲完成之后呢，你就可以马上回头看到看看这个我们文章的架构是不是平衡呢？哪边需要删减，哪边需要。加强哦，还有呢，最重要是不是符合我们提示要求的 ？OK， 如果呢你都已经写好文章，再回头来看呢，可能就要花更多力气、更多时间来修改。所以记得了，最有效率的做法呢，就是一定要先拟定大纲哦。And don't forget to use transitions in your writing, so you can carry the reader from one idea to the next.、Mm -hmm. Okay, transitions help the reader see the connection or relationship between ideas. Okay, 刚刚已经提醒过了，记得呢多用这些连接词、转折语呢。这些字词呢可以让你的文章更通顺，读者也更能了解这个情节之间的因果关系了。是哪一件事情先发生、后发生，以及他们之间是但是呢，还是所以呢 ？Okay, 这些连接词很重要。Okay, let's take a quick break right now before we、um, read through our samples. Okay, welcome back. Let's take a look at our basic sample. Basic sample. My college friend Josh came to visit me from the U.S. last week. He was really interested in seeing Taiwan, so we kept in touch and planned his trip. Josh told me he wanted to visit one of Taiwan's famous night markets. This was great, as I was thinking about taking him there to try some Taiwanese food anyway. In the night market, we had some fried chicken, sausages, and pearl milk tea. As we walked past a garbage can, I threw my empty drink cup on top. The garbage can was full. And a few things had already spilled out onto the floor. Josh was shocked. He couldn't believe how much trash night markets produce. He pointed out that most of it was single-use plastic that couldn't be recycled, and how bad this was for the environment. I guess I'm so used to night markets that I've never thought about that side of things. I'm going to find out if there are ways to reduce night market trash. Okay, so this story is written in the point of view of the Taiwanese man. Okay,、mm -hmm. his friend is visiting from U.S. He brings him to a night market. That's what I do when someone visits. After、mm -hmm. all, Taiwan is known for its night market, right? And it's the best place to bring someone to eat all the local foods under one yes, roof. Yes, yes. <laughs> 来台湾玩的夜市真是一个很好的去处。在这里呢，一条街就可以吃到很多很多传统有名的小吃。所以呢，当然呢、哦，这个外国人来呢，夜市绝对是一个必去哦，必拜。Which night market do you think you would bring your foreign friend if you could only bring them to one night market? To one night market, yes.、Yeah. Um, Shiling night market. Shiling,、yeah. okay. But I haven't been there for a very long time, so、yeah. I'm not sure if it's the same、uh -huh. as I remembered. But、uh, but yeah, I feel like、um, some night markets are getting more and more commercial,、mm -hmm. and the things are getting more and more similar. Yeah,、uh, from I would from markets to markets. Yeah,、so. I would say Shiling is probably one of those that are like very touristy. I don't think there's very much local people who go there anymore.、No. Yeah, I don't go there anymore. But I think I would bring them to. 
、um, Ningxia、ah, okay. Night Market. Yeah. yeah, because a lot of、um, my friends that are from Hong Kong or whatever, they actually enjoy the food at Ningxia、mm -hmm. a lot more than the other ones. Yeah, yeah, so I think I would bring them to Ningxia Night Market. Yeah, and I think the neighborhood is quite nice. Yeah,、Ningxia? it's close、yeah. close to Da Daocheng. Oh, yeah, it's、yes. like the old town of、uh -huh. Taipei, and、uh, some really cool small shops、oh, or、yeah. small bars. Okay, wow.、Yeah, so should be a very trendy and a good place for foreigners to go. I、know. see. So it's like you can go to that outlet in the daytime, I guess,、yeah. and then go to the night market, and、yeah. then maybe go back to that outlet since you said there's like pubs there yes, for yes, people yes. to drink. <laughs> okay, yeah. We can see that the main theme of this essay, okay,、mm -hmm. is how much trash night markets produce or create.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so I couldn't agree more. Think of all <laughs> the plastic bags and wooden skewers that are given out when you buy something at the night market. Okay, it's kind of like they put it in a paper bag, and then after that, they put it in another plastic yes, bag, right?、Yes. Because the paper bag is so hot that you can't even just carry the paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too hot. Yeah. yeah. So those supermarkets are limiting their use of plastic by charging customers for plastic bags.、Mm -hmm. It seems like night markets have yet to find a solution to reducing single-use plastic.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so single-use plastic is plastic that can only be used once. Okay, single use. Yeah. Sometimes you might hear people use the word disposable, D I S P O S A B L E, disposable, instead of single use, like a disposable cup, which、mm -hmm. means you know it's a cup that you would throw away after using it. Yes. Okay. I remember the time when I was in the central market of Madrid、mm -hmm. in Spain. Yeah, in that market they actually serve wine in a nice tall glass. Oh, like an actual glass. Yeah. An wow. Actual glass. Yeah. I'm not sure if this can happen in Taiwan. Maybe people will try bring this. Glass home or <laughs> break break、would. them maybe yeah but it's certainly a way to refine the whole experience and reduce garbage yes. yeah using non disposable cups yeah maybe <laughs> I mean in the short term it sounds like a very big investment because you're buying all glass、yes. products yeah and there's also the fear of whether or not you'll get that product back right <laughs> <laughs> you know what if somebody breaks it or like you said bring it home then they won't have that so it's kind of like they're giving people not just a meal but also like a free dish to bring home yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it can be very costly. So there has to be other ways to yeah. reduce waste. Yeah, but maybe you can put like deposit on the cups. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Maybe the bubble tea is like let's say thirty,、yeah. and、uh, I sell it for like a hundred. Uh huh. And will you like return the cups? I will refund you maybe like seventy. Ah,、oh, so, okay. Yeah, maybe that's a thing to do. Yeah.、And、we can do like small cups with um let's say like Ningxia Night Market、oh, like printed right, on it. Oh right. Right. Yeah, you can bring it. Home, or you can return it. Yeah, it could be a、That's、good a, souvenir. That is a good idea,、yeah. actually. That is really smart.、Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good idea. The only issue is that, like, for example, if it was a Ningxia Night Market,、mm -hmm. um, you would have to finish the drink. If you want to return the cup, you would have to finish the drink within the time that you're there. So you kind、uh, of like、yes. have to hang around. But if it was like a bubble tea, like a chain store, let's say like Ushulan,、yes. then maybe you could return the cup at any outlet, any Ushulan、uh, yes, store.、Yeah. You could return it. Yeah. So maybe that's something that Taiwan should look into. So when I first came to Taiwan, I would frequent like night markets. There's so much food at night markets that <laughs> just the variety is amazing. So I would go there so often. I'd be like, okay, let's go there for dinner、yeah. instead of like figuring out what you want to eat first, right?、Yeah. The last time I went to the night market was probably like a year or two ago.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was only because my friend who was visiting from Hong Kong wanted to go. And I find that food at night markets not only are kind of pricey,、mm -hmm. they can be pretty expensive, but more importantly, I hate the amount of garbage that is produced at night markets.、Mm -hmm. And And I've becoming more environmentally conscious of my actions, so I'll actually avoid doing certain things just so I don't have to feel guilty about creating trash.、Mm -hmm. So night markets is one of the places I avoid going because I don't want to create trash. Yeah. Also about the things getting pricey. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's because、uh, there's more and more tourists visiting yeah, Taiwan,、exactly. so they are actually raised the price. Another thing I never understood about night markets is why there are only garbage cans at the entrance and the exit of the <laughs> night market. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Yes. Or is yes, it just me?、Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at our advanced sample writing right now. Okay, advanced sample. This fall, I was lucky enough to finally visit Taiwan. I was beyond excited to catch up with my college friend Kevin and see his corner of the world. When Kevin picked me up at the airport, it was around dinner time, and I was famished after the flight. The first thing that popped into my head was a night market. I'd read that they were a must-go for Taiwanese food.
With brightly lit stalls lighting the streets, the night market truly was a sight to behold. I bought some Taiwanese classics, a fried chicken cutlet, and pearl milk tea. My good mood took a dive, though, when I saw Kevin casually toss his cup on a trash heap overflowing onto the street. I asked Kevin why people just let their garbage spill all over the street in the night markets. I never really thought about it, he said. It'll get cleaned up later. Still, it does make the street look disgusting. We agreed that the night market was great. We just hoped it could become a little cleaner. Okay, so this writing sample. Is written in the point of view of the tourist. Okay,、yes. isn't that interesting? <laughs> so now we see how the story will unfold from a different perspective. Yes, okay, yes. so the writer sets the story to take place at dinner time, just in time to visit the night market. So usually, after people get off a flight, they are famished because airplane food isn't very good, <laughs> right? To be famished means to be very hungry. Okay, famished. 其实呢，就是 hungry， 就是很饥饿的。因为呢，你这个飞机餐通常不怎么样，所以下飞机大家通常都是这个饥肠辘辘了。那 famished 呢，其实就是指这个非常非常饿，饥饿。你好像很久没吃东西了，这样。<笑> the phrase to pop into somebody's head means to occur or. Form suddenly in someone's mind.、Mm-hmm. It has the same meaning as the phrase "to come to one's mind." Okay, pop into somebody's head, 跑进你的头脑里面了。其实呢，很常看到的，我们是说 "come to someone's mind"，、mm-hmm. 或者是呢 ，"occur to say." Okay, 就表示呢是想到了，哎，灵光一现，忽然出现这个点子，出现这个 idea. The phrase "must go" is very literal in meaning.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'll often hear of "must go," "must buy," "must eat," especially when people talk about About travel. Yes. Okay. Must 这个助动词呢，就表示一定要啊，不得不一定要做的事情。比方说呢 ，You must not smoke here. 你不能够在这里抽烟，是绝对不行，不能够发生的。所以呢，把它加上动词，用一杠连起来变成名词哦，就表示。必怎么样的东西？比方说呢，这个必吃 must eat， 必买 must buy， 或者是呢必逛必去哦。这些呢 must 开头的名词就是这个意思。And the phrase a sight to behold means a person or thing that is particularly impressive or worth seeing.、Mm-hmm. In Taipei, some people might say Taipei One Hundred One is a sight to behold.、Mm-hmm. Behold 呢这个字我们很常听到主持人说呢，就是呢表示这个看呐、啊，期待已久的这个什么东西就要出。出来了，或者是呢，这个东西接下来要看到的是很特别、很独特。你最好呢停止呼吸，不要眨眼，等它出来，不然就错过了这样的意思。所以呢 ，a sight to behold 就表示呢很值得一看的景色呢。像说有人可能很喜欢这个台北一零一啊，或者台湾可能这个泰鲁格国家公园这些东西呢，都是很值得一定要看的。That's right, Taroko Gorge is probably a sight to behold. Yes, more yes. so than Taipei. <laughs> At least for me, that is. Yeah, yeah. the word heap. Is used to refer to a large, untidy pile of things, like a <laughs> trash heap or、yeah. a heap of trash, or maybe your room has a heap of clothes. Yeah, there is a heap of clothes <laughs> in your closet、yeah. or in your room. <laughs> in my closet, yes. Okay, heap 就是指一堆哦，而且这些一堆呢不是好东西，不是干净的东西。比方说是一堆脏衣服啊，一堆垃圾等等的，我们就会讲说 heap。Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Our picture writing the two samples that we got in the magazine were kind of different from the ones yes, that yes, we yes. came up with. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> Ours were a little bit out there, but、yeah. I mean, they were supported by the pictures, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes.、Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us today.、Um, we've actually run out of time, but、um, we'll catch you guys next time. This、yes. is Angeline. This is Sam. Goodbye. Bye.